uh, President uh, Obama uh, coming out and saying, um, you know, look, at, to Scott Walker, who's running for president, most likely, uh, he needs to bone up on foreign policy. If a president makes a deal, another president shouldn't come in and renege on it. Uh, at this point, the United States has given its word it's going to do everything it can to push this deal forward. Why isn't that the right thing to do? Well, first of all, the deal is not uh, finished. And uh, the deal, as we see it, is worse than the worst-case scenario that we had anticipated. This is a bad deal that doesn't <coughs> destroy one centrifuge, doesn't shut down one underground facility, and basically paves the way for Iran to acquire a nuclear weapon. But when they're uh, free, you know, they, they've got all their uh, economy up and running, it just doesn't make sense. And you know what? It's not too late to fix it. So one of the things to quote unquote fix it uh, that, that, that you have supported, that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has supported, is say that any deal with Iran must include Iran recognizing Israel's right to exist as a fundamental premise of the deal. President Obama says, forget about it. Here's exactly how he put it. The notion that we would condition Iran not getting nuclear weapons in a verifiable deal on uh, Iran recognizing Israel is really akin to saying that uh, we won't sign a deal unless uh, the nature of the Iranian regime completely transforms. And that is, I think, a fundamental misjudgment. Naftali, what do you say to that? Is Prime Minister uh, Netanyahu fundamentally misjudging this situation, asking for something that is impossible uh, just for the sake of it? No, this is very possible. First of all, I, I just want to point out, you know, Ayatollah Khamenei, the supreme leader of Iran, recently published a document that says, what is the proper way of eliminating Israel? This is the leader of Iran coming out with a document talking about eliminating and destroying Israel. And all we're asking is to, to do away with this. You can't go sign a deal with someone who explicitly says he wants to d destroy us. Now, it is possible to achieve a good deal. Here's what you need to do. Just keep the sanctions. You don't need to change anything. Just wait. For the past two years, the crippling sanctions in banking and finance yeah. have succeeded in bringing Iran to the table. If you don't let up now, sooner or later, within a year or three years, they're going to be up at a point where their economy just cannot sustain these sanctions, and they'll have to give up on their nuclear weapon program, and that's what we want, so, and it is possible. So, so what's, what I want to ask you, though, is when Prime Minister Netanyahu says a, a fundamental tenet of the deal should be recognition of Israel, a lot of people watching say, well, that makes complete sense. If, if Iran says they want to eliminate Israel, they should have to take that back as part of the deal. But the former Mossad chief himself, Ephraim Halevi, actually agrees with President Obama in an op-ed today, which I know you saw, Naftali, but let me read it for our viewers. He wrote, clearly, Iran is not going to change its spots. Therefore, anyone who voices such a demand is signaling that he doesn't want the agreement and has his eyes on an aggressive solution. That's a pretty direct slap in the face to Prime Minister Netanyahu and to the point of view that you just uh, were explaining. I mean, that's the former chief of the Mossad saying asking for the recognition of Israel makes no sense. Yeah, I think uh, a Mossad leader uh, 15 years ago, uh, you know, right now we have a prime minister who is responsible for the security of the only Jewish state that we have. And we have to defend ourselves. You know, it's Passover now. And just a few days ago, all Jews read uh, a sentence, Bechol dor vador omdim aleinu In every generation, there's someone who wants to annihilate the Jewish people, the Egyptians, ancient Egyptians and Greeks and Romans, Nazis, and now it's Iran who explicitly wants to eliminate us. We will persevere. We will win. But here's what we need to do to avoid a war. We need to insist on not giving them the oxygen to, to, to go ahead and, and uh, you know, pave their way to, to a bomb. Mm -hmm. I think uh, President Obama himself said that when the time is out, the breakout time will be zero when, when this deal is over in about 10 years. My daughter, Abigail, is going to be 15 years old. This is nothing in, in, in the, the time of a nation. So what, what we're doing effectively, this bad deal legitimizes and okay. paves the way for Iran to acquire a nuclear weapon. I don't see why it doesn't make sense to insist on them not wanting to eliminate Israel, not wanting to destroy my country, and in fact doing away with that. 
and dismantling their nuclear weapon program. If they okay. want nuclear energy, fine, but not weaponize it. That's all we're asking here. I don't think it's an unreasonable request. All right. Thanks very much to you, Naftali Bennett. I appreciate that.